Connecticut's number one local news. This is Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Thanks for joining us at 7 a.m. I'm Wendell Edwards. We have a Channel 3 Cares event starting in just a few hours. Today, we're partnering with IKEA to celebrate teachers. Channel 3 Eyewitness reporter Roger Suzanne is now live at the IKEA store in New Haven with everything you need to know about Teacher Appreciation Day. Roger, good morning. This should be such a fun event. Oh, Wendell, it is going to be absolutely awesome. We're told it's going to be kind of like a carnival-like atmosphere for all the teachers who show up. And get this, hundreds of Connecticut teachers have already apparently signed up to be part of the fun. They're going to walk through the entrance here at the IKEA store on Long Wharf Drive in New Haven starting at 10 o'clock in the morning, and the event runs until 5 p.m. But if you're a teacher watching this right now, you may want to try to get here early because get this, the first 500 teachers through those doors are going to get a free gift that they're not divulging exactly what it's going to be, but it's going to be a fun surprise. And really, that's just the tip of the iceberg. We are also handing out, along with our partners, the Connecticut Parent Teachers Association and IKEA, a $1,000 check to a local magnet school here in New Haven. But that's not all. We're also going to share some really cool deep discounts and also Teachers are going to be able to participate in raffles and spin a large prize wheel where they could win up to $1,000 in free gift cards from Ikea. Again, it's going to be an awesome day from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. here at the Ikea in New Haven. Reporting live in New Haven for this Three Cares event, I'm Roger Suzannon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Roger, thank you. Today, Richard DeBay, the husband accused of killing his wife in their Ellington home, will learn his sentence. It's a story, if you recall, gained national attention. Earlier this year, in May, a jury convicted debate of killing his wife, Connie, in December of 2015, just days before Christmas. Experts say evidence on her Fitbit helped that jury reach a quick guilty verdict. Debate faces 25 years up to life in prison, and we'll have live coverage throughout the day on the Channel 3 app. Another high-profile murder trial is getting underway today in Bristol. Eyewitness News has learned Kevin Bard will head to court to face charges for the death of his girlfriend. Police say he slashed her throat at a home on Vance Drive in 2020, then called several people to tell him what happened as he waited for police. Investigators say the victim had gotten three protective orders against Bard before her death. All right. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Let's take a look at our early warning dual pole radar, the only live Doppler radar in Connecticut, scanning dry. Mm, kind of good news, bad news. Good news is we're going to have some great weather today. The bad news is we're not going to get any rain. There might be a sprinkle or a shower right around 5, 6 p.m. this evening. It's all the result of a storm system that's pulling away to the north and the east of Connecticut. You'll see it up there bringing some pretty good amount of rain to Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Unfortunately, that rain is not moving in our direction. It's moving away from us, and that is womp, womp, womp. We do need the rain. The drought monitor gets updated at 9 o'clock this morning. We'll certainly pass that along to you. And in the meantime, enjoy the sunny skies, 68 degrees, with a wind out of the west at 3. Just beautiful out there. Windsor locks, just enough cloud coverage to make for a gorgeous start. 66 degrees there. Torrington, good morning to you. Things are looking good. A little cobweb on the lens there as we take a look at partly to mostly sunny skies in Waterbury. The temperature there, a little bit below average. 62, typical overnight low. We're at 60 right now in Waterbury. 66 at Bradley, 68 at Brainerd. Those numbers are a little bit above average. 60 in Waterbury, 61 in Meriden, 62 in Willimantic. Those are a little bit below the average. And that's what makes the average. And the dew points are comfortable. Just a couple of 60s out there, right at 60 in New Haven and Bridgeport. So for the most part, it's very pleasant. All right, our temperature differential, we're up a degree or two from where we were yesterday in parts of the state, down a degree or two, so we're basically flat. And the winds will be out of the northwest today. Uh, should be a little bit breezy, but not too bad. The dew point trend won't go up until Sunday afternoon and into Monday and Tuesday. That's when the humidity starts cranking. And according to early one futurecast, tomorrow's weather today shows us not a lot going on during the day today. There's that sprinkle I'm talking about at 5 p.m. just to the west of uh, Salisbury. It trickles and it falls apart as it moves into the state. So most towns stay dry during the day today. Here's the wider perspective. Watch the storm system pull away to the north and east up 
There it goes, bye bye, bringing all of the rain with it, unfortunately. And then tomorrow's, I mean, the, the caveat here is it's going to be beautiful weather. Daytime highs today, 82 to 84 for inland Connecticut, maybe 85 by later on this afternoon. More of the same for the shoreline. We're going to have an offshore breeze as opposed to an onshore breeze today. So temperatures along the shoreline will be equivalent to where we're headed inland. Daytime highs today, low to mid 80s, becoming uh, brighter and breezy. Partly cloudy to mostly clear tonight, a real nice night for sleeping without air conditioning. And then your seven day forecast includes 89 tomorrow, 90, 90. So we're going to be flirting with the 90 degree mark Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, Monday afternoon and evening, a better chance for some passing showers. Those showers stick around for Tuesday and Wednesday, but it doesn't look like the drought buster that we need. And you'll notice those overnight lows come up. Uncomfortable for sleeping without air conditioning starting Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and into Wednesday. 70 degree overnight lows. Yikes. That is way above average. All right, here come your shoreline highs. Pretty equivalent to where we're headed inland. 84 today, 86 tomorrow, 86 and 87 over the upcoming weekend. All right, just about 7.06. Wendell, that's a check of your early morning forecast. We'll send it back to you. Scott, thank you. This morning, fire officials in Watertown are trying to figure out what caused this barn to go up in flames last night. It happened on Linkfield Road. Several neighboring departments were called in to help put that fire out. And eventually they did, but the fire destroyed the barn. Thankfully, though, no one was hurt. We have an update in Hartford this morning. Two young people have been arrested for setting a playground on fire earlier this week. You may recall this story. Police say a 12 year old and a 15 year old were taken into custody after a fire destroyed the playscape area at the Cronin Park. That's right on Granby Street. The kids are facing several charges. A hearing has begun for one of Alex Jones's lawyers before Jones's case officially starts for defamation here in Connecticut. A judge began hearing testimony on whether Norman Pattis should be disciplined for disclosing highly sensitive documents to another one of Jones's attorneys. It's connected to that defamation lawsuit followed by Sandy Hook families after Alex Jones, the conspiracy theorist, called the shooting a hoax. It was not. Jury selection for that trial is set to resume today as well. And this morning, Maryland police are searching for a bank robbery suspect. See him right here on your screen. Police say he stormed into the Liberty Bank on East Main Street yesterday afternoon and demanded cash. The teller handed over some money and then this guy just took off. He may be driving a gray colored sedan spotted on this surveillance camera during the getaway. Call police if you have any information. We thank you for tuning in to Eyewitness News on this Thursday. Remember, you can get news and weather updates anytime right at your fingertips on the Channel 3 app. We'll leave you with a live look over Middletown, Connecticut River, and that beautiful sunrise. Have a great day.